We have all these money managers. This guy went to MIT, this guy's got an IQ of 190, and this guy's, you know what we're underrepresented in? Crackheads. <laughs> we, we need to spread this, you know, they don't, they don't do that, of course, right? But you know, minor details, it doesn't matter. Then he's on the payroll in Ukraine. You'd think, you'd think that'd be a problem. If you're on the payroll in a company, working in an energy company, in a business you know nothing about, in a language you don't speak, for a job you don't have to show up to, <laughs> yeah. I was like, hey, Dad, can we just switch parties and like run as a Democrat? Because I would be a billionaire tomorrow. Like, <laughs> this would be so easy. You know, a couple hundred grand a month for years. No one knows why. Yeah. But what's scary is our own media won't ask. As we're on the brink of World War III with the world's largest nuclear superpower by volume of, you know, intercontinental ballistic missiles with warheads, you think maybe any of our policy is guided by the fact that these guys are sitting on information that we haven't even yet seen. Meaning, can we name an enemy, I don't want to say of America, but of, you know, let's call it, you know, freedom-loving nations or freedom-loving peoples that do not have a Hunter Biden laptop or a story or some sort of connection. And the fact that our media won't even ask those questions are we making life and death decisions? Are we in America, for example, spending $160 trillion, billion dollars, whatever it is, doesn't matter. They don't care, that's the war machine. Are we doing it because someone has undue influence over the powers that be? At any other time in history, that would be a question a journalist would actually ask. It would be like the only question. Just like you would think they'd be curious about the stuff going on, let's say, in the cases in New York. Uh, you mean uh, the judge's daughter is one of the most prolific Democrat fundraisers. Depending on which way he votes or goes in this case, his daughter's entire financial well-being, there's actually, even, even in New York, as crazy as New York is, even there there's a rule, you have six degrees of separation, not one, which is a daughter, that would prohibit him from even overseeing the case, but once you've turned into a banana republic, that no longer matters, right? It's totally irrelevant. So I say, of course it doesn't matter. So you're getting to rule and overrule and all these things. Does it matter that, you know, I don't know, the star witness is someone who's convicted of perjury, spent time in jail, lost his law license? No, it doesn't matter because if we get what we want, the ends justify the means. Again, these are coming from the people who scream about fascism. Another case in New York, the New York State the Attorney General going after us. I guess we got, what was it, half a billion dollar penalty for paying back banks. <laughs> <laughs> who knew? I was like, wait a minute. So you're saying you get in trouble for actually paying them back. When the star witness of that case is actually on the stand being like, we don't understand. We were paid back in full with interest. No one ever missed a payment. We wanted to do more business with Trump, not less. No, you are the victim. <laughs> no, we're here with it. We wanted to do more. It was a feather in our cap. It doesn't matter. Just this week. And again, the silence from the media is so telling because you sort of see anything that they avoid, anything that they won't touch. You know how important it must be, but it's sort of a big deal when Jack Smith and his team of prosecutors are found to have been tampering with the evidence, right? My father stole classified documents that were his and he could declassify. I'm still trying to figure that one out, but it doesn't matter. They do a raid on Mar-a-Lago using the FBI's hostage rescue team. Not just, hey, you know, they were working with the lawyers for months, whatever it is, here, like, come in and look. No, 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 they show up with the hostage rescue team because, you know, I don't know, maybe they thought I was there. 